Hello, welcome once again. We were always talking about the computer module. The computer module is the brain child of the vehicle in any vehicle. As you can see over here, this represents the PCM, which is the powertrain control module for Acura, for GMs. It doesn't matter what its abbreviation is, its functions are the same. It is in charge of the starter motor, the fuel pump, air conditioning, heating, everything from the power control modules. Now, from the comments I received again, very confusing about these computer modules to understand inputs and outputs. Basically, we have sensors in cars. Some have more, some have less. But all electronic cars today have sensors. Now, a sensor is a device, a trying device, giving information about the temperature of the air, how much air, how much fuel pressure. All these things are information. The computer is looking for one thing, information, data, on the present situation, what is going on now, and how he can adjust the fuel to match the air-fuel ratio that is needed for proper emissions. So you can pass your inspection. Now, with that information, sensors, whatever the sensor is, gives information to the computer. Now, just like when you go to a doctor, the doctor asks you for information. Where do you have the pain? How often? When you walk? When you lay down? You're like a sensor. You're giving information to the doctor. Based on that, the doctor makes a diagnosis and a treatment. Same thing over here. He has to decide. Here are the sensors, let's say, on the pedal. When you step on the pedal, the gas pedal, APP, accelerator uh, 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 pedal over here, this one over here, the middle one, the middle one, there are three, three, one, the brown, the green, four and five, and there's also the middle one. The middle one is an input. That's giving information how much you're pressing on the pedal, the gas pedal, the height of it. Now, you can be on you could be on the brake pedal over here instead of the gas pedal over here. It has to know that also. Whatever it has to know, whether it's a brake pedal, the gas pedal, uh, a mass airflow sensor like this one, how much air is going in, that is an input. As you can see, I put arrows over here. This arrows mean it's going into, this is the computer. These are the terminals, the pins, if you, if you wish. These are the colors of the pins. So therefore, it is a sensor. If it is a sensor, pressure sensor, that means it is an input going to it. An input here. An input here. Mass airflow sensor. This is an input. Everything is an input. What would be considered an output to the computer? Well, let's say he gets all the inputs, you're on the brake pedal, and now you started driving, now you're on the gas pedal, accelerator pedal, mass airflow sensor, how much air is going in. There's something called an output. An output can be a valve, an evap canister uh, vent shut valve. Let's say we have vapor, coming out of your uh, fuel tank. It has to be stored somewhere, stores in a, in a canister, charcoal canister. When it's needed to be burned, obviously, it's gonna go into the engine. All these things are computerized to open up the valves, to allow these things. Since, you're, since the computer is controlling a valve or a motor or a fuel pump, that thing in relation to that is called the output. Sensors are the inputs, the pro the present information, what's going on in the vehicle, what the driver is doing, is he opening, uh, 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 um, is, is he opening or closing uh, the air conditioning switch? What is he doing, right now? So therefore, it is con in conjunction with that. It's going to control something. It's going to control the valve in this case. It's going to control over here an injector relay. What's an injector relay? Injector relay is for the fuel injectors. When you have fuel pressure from the fuel pump, you have fuel coming into these injectors. How many injectors? Depends if it's a V8, V6. 
we have a relay over here. He's going to control. See the output, the arrow is going out, A17 red. That means over here is going to give probably a ground to this side. The other side is probably 12 volts. When that happens, now we have current flowing through here. Fuse 2, two that is 7, 20 amps. 12 volts here, 12 volts over here. And 12 volts to this side, closing it. And now it can go to the fuel injectors. So therefore, this would be an output. If it controls a motor, if it controls a pump, if it controls a starter motor, see starting charging system, if it controls the alternator, because now the alternator is computerized, starting, starting system is computerized. So if you have a problem, you know start. And you have code something starting with you. That means you have no communication among your modules, your computer. So therefore, you need this to work. Otherwise, your wheels will not turn. You will be parked there forever. So remember this. What's an input? What's an output? An output could be the fuel pump. An output could be uh, the fuel injectors. Okay? So... Anyway, please go to my channel, Joe Electronic Schematics Auto. My other channel, Automotive Electronic Schematics by Joseph. Thanks for watching.